Hi, this video is going to be kind of a follow-up video to my last couple of videos showing some of the things you can do with Bitwig 4.2's new feature Note Grid. And uh, so I just uploaded earlier tonight a video showing how you can make a pretty flexible auto chord um, generator. I'll link it up here uh, or at the end of the video. And then a couple days ago, I put a video up showing how, uh, how you can make like a very flexible monophonic sequencer, which is this. It's got... I'll, I'll link that one too. But anyway, I just wanted to show you kind of, this is what I had in mind when I was setting up the chord sequencer was being able to tr uh, at, have something to run off of my original monophonic sequencer to just generate chords that can be laid on top of, um, just to kind of create ideas that can be messed with. So uh, it's pretty cool how flexible this is with NoteGrid and how well it works in terms of like the uh, MIDI, um, in terms of uh, the MIDI being able to um, being able to get clean MIDI out of it, so like I'll show you now. If I record from my auto chord here, so here's I just after re recording that video, just tried throwing this monophonic sequencer into this chord generator, and I can basically get all sorts of random ideas by just playing with these diff different values so like the what's going on on here right now is i just have the gate sequencer triggering the gates and then the xy is just kind of going like doing this weird motion to go between these values for the pitch and that's being fed into the chord quantizer which has randomization on so every chord is going to be different because it's it's going to be random chords but they're always going to be chords that work for the, whatever note is being sent into it so um here i'll give you a little I'll hit play and maybe just tweak some of these knobs and we can just sort of, I don't know, see what see what kind of MIDI clips we can get out of here. Even without uh, tweaking knobs, it's going to be an ever-changing MIDI sequence because of the randomization. But it'll still have the same groove because I'm using this sequencer over here. So, like, yeah, let's just check out what we can do with this kind of stuff. All right, so yeah, if we now have a look at this clip, we can see really for me just playing with some LFOs in my sequencer now and feeding it into the chord generator and the chord generator getting completely random stuff, we've got this kind of interesting sort of percussive chord progression thing that's like jumping around all over the place. So yeah, I mean, if you take something like this it could be cleaned up to make you know whatever the hell ideas you want in um for building a track and then yeah i could just show you like if i start you know just playing with the lfos really for this stuff especially if, if i just start messing with what's going on in the uh monophonic sequencer it'll just generate all sorts of random chords i mean if i just hit play like I can also run it from the XY sequencer, which will be really all over the place. <laughs> That's very, very weird sounding. But anyway, it's some kind of fun ideas that can be gotten out of out of this kind of stuff. We can also just run LFO, an LFO into it for the pitch. Oh wait, let me have the gates trigger it, so now. And then, you know, we can just play with the gate pattern, make something, like if we want to have long, longer chords or longer notes to begin with mm 
And then just add a little re triggers in. Anyway, yeah, so you can see that's just kind of creating all sorts of randomization. And again, I have random on. I mean, if I just turn this off, it'll actually play the same chord each time. And then, you know, again, just play with the modulation sources. Now it's the X, Y again. And then, you know, if, yeah, like you saw from the chord video, I could even just, I know it's glitching out a little bit on my CPU. I think I need to change my buffer size um, right now. But um, yeah, I can just play with these chords and just find something that sounds cool with, with this rhythmic pattern. Anyway, so yeah, hopefully that shows you some of the kind of fun flexibility that's available in NoteGrid if you really go into it and play around with some of the um, possibilities. You can generate some very, very weird uh, sequences, but that still actually work harmonically and musically because of the, um, you know, things you can do with... Um, well, like at least in my case, with this uh, auto chord thing that I I made the vid uh, the other video about, so cool. Hopefully that gives people some just kind of I don't know fun ideas of what you can do with uh, exploring note note grid. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.